Thanks for coming back to the most amazing top 10 guys. My name is Danny Burke. You might know me from that video where I listed those things in ascending order from 10 to 1. Remember that video? Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, we're about to do another one, believe it or not, with our top 10 interesting facts about volcanoes. When you're basically a giant mountain that spews hot lava every once in a while, there's going to be some pretty interesting facts about you. So let's jump right into our number 10, shall we? The biggest volcanic eruption on the planet in the last 1,300 years occurred on April 10th, 1815 on the Indonesian island of Tambora. It's difficult to explain just how big this explosion was. It makes any other eruption you've heard about sound like someone putting Mentos in a Coke bottle. But let's try and hit you guys with some stats to give you a bit of an idea. The eruption was the equivalent of 33 billion tons of TNT. In three days it released 173 cubic kilometers of volcanic debris. That's enough to bury Rhode Island in 55 meters of ash. It released almost as much energy as the United States uses in a year. The death toll was thought to be at least 71,000 people, both directly and indirectly. Tambora blew about a third of its height into the atmosphere. And the resulting ash plume from that went up 43 kilometers into the air. And all that dust and ash actually got blown around the whole planet and blocked out the sun and led to what was actually known as the year without a summer. Coming in number 9 guys, Earth isn't the only place that has volcanoes in our solar system. I don't know why I'm clapping. Venus is basically just one angry volcano. There's apparently loads of them there, but it's hard to study them when Venus keeps crushing and melting every probe we send there. Mars used to have some of the biggest volcanoes in the solar system, including Mount Olympus that is about three times the height of Earth's Mount Everest. Even moons of planets can have volcanoes. Our own moon has evidence of ancient volcanic seas of lava, and Jupiter moon Io looks to be the most volcanic body in the solar system. It's covered in them. Check out this picture of one erupting into space. Nice. Today I get to talk about space volcanoes. All I need now is a pet T-Rex and all my childhood dreams have come true. At number 8 we're going to be talking about the myths and legends about what volcanoes really are that go back thousands of years. Europeans in the middle ages believed that they were entrances to hell itself. The Aztecs in what is now modern day Mexico believed that gods lived in lava lakes and would often sacrifice people in them to please the gods. The ancient Greeks thought that their god Ephestos lived beneath Mount Mount Etna and that Prometheus stole fire from the volcano to give to humans. The Romans adopted this myth too, but instead they called their god Volcanus, which is where we get the word volcano from. God, I love that fact. I really do. On to number seven now, and you might think that volcanic lava moves at a snail's pace. Usually the average speed is around five kilometers an hour, that's about walking speed, but given the right conditions, lava can flow very quickly indeed. In the 1950 Hawaiian eruption of Mauna Loa, the lava flow started at around 10 kilometers an hour, but eventually reached speeds of 60 kilometers an hour. Similar speeds were reached in 1977 when a lava lake drained at the Nyira Gongo volcano in the Congo. Now, all of this depends on what is called the viscosity of the lava, which is basically its thickness. The lower the viscosity, the faster the lava can flow. Some of those lava flows that I just spoke about would have broken the speed limit if they went past your house right now. Although, good luck trying to give a volcano a speeding ticket. At number six, it's easy to think of volcanoes as being fiery, destructive monsters, but in reality, they can be some of the most creative forces on the planet. When the Earth's tectonic plates rub against each other at great depths of pressure and heat, they sometimes form volcanoes. Now, 20% of these volcanoes are underwater, and when the erupting lava eventually cools and builds up to the surface of the ocean, new islands can emerge from thin air. This is actually how the islands of Hawaii formed. The volcanic hotspot stayed in the same place, but as the tectonic plates drifted, the string of islands were formed. So on behalf of the people of Hawaii, thank you massive underwater volcanoes, you're too kind, you really, really are. At number 5, nearly 300 to 500 million people in the world live near volcanoes. That's about 1 in 20 people on the planet, and people have been doing this since the dawn of time. Are they crazy? What is wrong with them? Well, wait a second, there are some advantages. Valuable minerals such as copper, gold, silver, lead and zinc are often found at volcanic sites. The geothermal energy they put out can also be harnessed by humans for their own energy needs. Countries like Iceland get a lot of volcanic activity and they use steam turbines to convert steam into enough electricity to power two thirds of their country. Tourism is also a big thing where millions and millions of tourists get attracted every 
every single year to get up close and personal with an actual volcano. Finally, the slopes of some volcanoes are often very rich and fertile places to grow crops. Eventually, the mineral rich rocks that the volcano spews out gets broken up into the soil and plants bloody love it. And so farmers love it even more. So although you watching this might not want to live anywhere near a volcano, some people out there wouldn't want to live anywhere else. At number 4, there was an eruption on April the 14th, 2010 in Iceland that lasted for 6 weeks and pumped enough ash and dust into the air that it grounded flights in most European countries. Airlines were scared that the dust might get into the engines. This caused the largest air traffic shutdown since World War II and left millions and millions of people stranded all over the world. And you might notice that I have not mentioned the name of this volcanic eruption yet and that's because I've been avoiding it. The name is very very long. But here it goes, I'm going to give it my best shot. Its name is Eyjafjallajökull. There we go, that was easy. There we go, it's so simple. I don't know what I was worried about. At number three, a lot of you guys are thinking that if you are going to get killed by a volcano, it will be because of the lava. But I'm going to be talking about something even worse. Volcanic eruptions generate super hot, fast moving currents of gas called pyroclastic flows. These hellish clouds are thought to be responsible for the deaths and stone encasing of the Romans at Pompeii. They were literally cooked alive by it. A pyroclastic flow races down the side of volcanoes at speeds of up to 450 miles per hour and can reach temperatures of 1000 degrees. Basically, as soon as you see one, you're pretty much dead. There's no way you're going to be able to outrun it. Photographer Robert Landsberg knew this when he saw Mount St. Helens erupt in 1980. He took these pictures as quickly as he could and managed to wrap the camera up and lie on top of it before the pyroclastic flow killed him. This selfless act provided scientists with valuable documentation of the event. At number two, we're going to be talking about how animals don't always run away from volcanoes. Sometimes they need them. Sometimes they thrive off them. On the Indonesian island of Sulawesi lives the Malo bird. It fascinates scientists because it's one of the only known bird species that does not sit on its eggs to incubate them and give the chick the necessary heat it needs. Instead, they get it from volcanic heat below the beach where they are laid. Also, scientists studying the underwater volcano of Kovachi were amazed to find stingrays and sharks living in the crater of the volcano where the water was thought to be way too acidic, way too toxic and too hot for life to survive. And we still don't know how they managed to do this yet and it's really a sign that for all the things that we do know about volcanoes, there are a lot of things we still don't know yet. And finally at number one, there's this volcano in Indonesia that spews blue flames. Yes, these pictures guys are 100% real. The reason for the volcano's unique colour is due to the combustion of sulfuric gases with the air at hot temperatures. The lava that erupts has a very high quantity of sulphur in it. When it reacts with the oxygen at the surface, it burns and creates these unique electric blue flames. I'm sorry but that is just cool. I mean I know all volcanoes are fascinating in some way but you really can't beat a blue one. Well guys, there are 10 facts about volcanoes and I know there are plenty more interesting ones out there so let me know if I missed any out in the comments below. Also, do you want us to do like a top 10 about another kind of natural event? Maybe one about hurricanes or earthquakes? What are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, you know the drill. If you're a subscriber, just chill out. You've done everything you need to. And if you're not a subscriber, then hit that button so you can join us here on Most Amazing Top 10. If you want to watch more videos right now, it's two flying over there. In the meantime, my name's Danny Burke. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, it's somewhere down there. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.